Papa Powell cut rates by 50 base points. The EU is cutting rates. China is cutting rates and is saying it's going to do everything in their power to lower more, more, more to keep the economy steady. So we have China, the EU and the US cutting rates all over the place. We have Bitcoin for this halving cycle that is getting to the exact point needed after 160 to 180 days after the halving where it usually spikes in price. And we also have October, November, December being the best performing months for Bitcoin during a halving cycle. All of these factors combined with the social economical news that we have from governments combining that with altcoins going to the moon and with altcoins that have utility like for example we have stellar ripple uh chain link all these that do have utilities and that are being used more and more by financial institutions all of this brings bullishness to me for next year so let's talk about that in today's video Welcome everyone. As I said, today we are talking about Bitcoin. We're talking about how I see the market performing for next year. And we're going to be covering some news, some articles, and I'm going to show you the positions that I took, the strategies that I'm using to be profitable for 2025. So let's start by looking at these news right here. You can see Eurozone inflation dips below 2%, strengthening rate cut case, meaning that inflation is decreasing in Europe, which is always good to have. They always had uh, very low inflation. Uh, of course, the euro is a very steady uh, fiat currency. And because the EU is not a single country, it is a conglomerate of countries. It is a union of countries. Well, they can help each other like the northern countries have been doing with the southern countries. I'm not going to get into geopolitics here as much because, of course, people from the north does not like as much to help people from the south and there's a lot of conflict of interests here uh, when it comes to that like Germany providing a lot of funds to Greece or to Italy or to other countries that are way poorer than um, the northern countries but this happens and because of this union of the European Union they have been doing very well when it comes to inflation and combating with inflation. So. That being said, we also have here Papa Powell. He, a few days ago, lowered by 50 BPS uh, the rate cut, which is the first time that has been happening since the uptrend. So now it is a inverse. So now we flipped what was going on. We flipped the direction, which is scary and good at the same time. Of course, this could bring a recession. We've seen this before, but the first situation is good news. So we have to wait to see how the Fed is going to act on top of what they just did. Powell did indicate that we could see micro cuts throughout just to uh, implement what they're trying to do in a safe way, not bringing recession. So holding everything tight. So I'm hoping that this is going to happen, that they're going to do a good job maintaining everything under control, which it is their job this is what they're supposed to do. And now if we go to China, China is cutting rates as well. They're trying to help these lowing economy. And again, they are doing what happened for uh, the US during the COVID era. So there's a lot of incentives for people to get money out, to make money go in the markets instead of outside of the markets. There's a lot of incentives to keep the ball rolling, keep the ball going. So that is very, very good, especially in the mortgage uh, sector. Right here, China cuts interest rates and mortgage down payments. So here is to help increase the real estate action here in China, which we know is very big, but we can go back all the way to the Evergrande situation where China started to have the housing crisis, a lot of houses being built, not a lot of money, Evergrande going bankrupt, and that spiraled into kind of like a lot of people, a lot of Chinese people going to the streets and fighting to get their property back or to uh, get something out of what they're spending to get a house there. So. Chinese government is investing a lot, a lot of money into back into the system. So what does that do? What does all of this do for Bitcoin, for cryptocurrency? Well, today we are in a red day, but everything in the market yesterday and a few days ago, they were bumping like crazy after these news. Everything was to the moon. So I don't know the day you're going to be watching this video, but even though in the weekly or in the hourly charts, things are not looking very green. For example, right here, seven days, Bitcoin is down 1%, Ethereum 1.5%. If you zoom out, we are clearly going up. We are looking, we're trying to break the ceilings that we have, the resistances that we have, and going back to touching all-time highs by the end of the year. And that's personal opinion. So the goals that I personally have 
for Bitcoin and for Ethereum by end of the year is at least a rally to 40% on Bitcoin that will bring it close to $90,000, which goes to what traders analysts are saying, which 87 to 90K is the next step for Bitcoin in the next bull run. So we're waiting for this next bull run because the halving cycle tends to copy what happens in the other cycles. So this cycle right here, we should see something similar to what happened in 2016 and in 2020. We had a huge boom, which is why we call October by October, because usually October, November, December, they are fantastic month for Bitcoin. And for Ethereum, January, February, and March are very good uh, quarters for Ethereum as well. So what I'm trying to see is Ethereum by next year being closer to all time highs again, which was 4,800, I think, and for Bitcoin to go up in its all time highs and maybe even higher all the way to the 40% gain by Christmas, maybe, maybe by New Year's Eve, we can see Bitcoin and $90,000. So what am I doing to make sure make more money out of this uh, than just holding Bitcoin and just holding Ethereum? So what I'm doing is I'm buying leaps, which are calls that expire all the way in the next year. So September 2025. And why are these calls so important? Well, because they have a lot of intrinsic value since I bought them at the money or close to at the money when I open this. And what they do is that they hold a lot of intrinsic value, meaning that even though time will be decaying and eating away the premium or the, the price itself of the option that I have, because they are at the money and eventually it will become in the money, I hope so, they will maintain a lot of value even though time is eating away at these options. My plan of action is to see Bitcoin go back up here above this price above this 65,000 and once it does to keep going all the way to the 88, maybe 90, maybe $90,000 right here. And this is what I wanted to see by December, which would be right around here. So this is what I would like to see. And even if it takes a little bit more, even if it takes to February, March next year, I have leaps for September. So if Bitcoin is above the strike that I chose, which were $60,000, which I'm going to show you in a little bit, if Bitcoin does that by September, it can be December, it can be January, March, April, it doesn't really matter. I will be profitable and I can close those options for a profit, which will be more than had I just held my Bitcoin or simply put away the Bitcoin in my wallet, in my cold storage wallet and just let it grow passively in price. No, I will be having that price increase of Bitcoin, but also profiting from these options, from these leaps. And let me show you what I did right here on my topics. So it may not look good right now, but these are the bets that I took for uh, Bitcoin. So we can see we have Ethereum and Bitcoin for uh, September 2025. So the end of September for Ethereum, I chose $2,800 as strike. This is the price Ethereum. If it is above this price, I will be profitable. Right now, Ethereum is at 2580. So for it to get above 2800 shouldn't take a whole year since this is for September next year. And for Bitcoin, I chose $70,000. So right now it is a little bit out of the money because when I opened this, Bitcoin was a 66, 67. I don't remember uh, the price that it was. But again, we are close to 70K and I don't think it will take one year for Bitcoin to go above that 70K. So for this one, I'm hopeful as well. Then we have by this year, by December 27, we also have two options here for Bitcoin and for Ethereum. We have a $65,000 for strike for Bitcoin, which uh, right now, since we don't have another counterpart opening or asking for this option, it shows that we are 72% in red, but I personally don't think so because we are not so far away from the strike. And even when we were in the green, when we were at 66, $67,000, um, this price right here was wrong. So again, I think this is just because of the bid ask price. There is not enough people on the other side uh, asking for this option because it is so far away in the future. But once this gets in the green, I will close it for a profit. And then we have the $4,000 for Ethereum. This one might be a little too much for me to reach. Maybe I'm going to lose money with this one because I don't know if Ethereum will have the strength to go back to $4,000 and above $4,000 by end of the year, mainly because it lost a lot of money from Q2, Q3 this year. Um, it was in the 3000 range. It got all the way to $3,500, $3,600, but then it went to the lower uh, 2000s. So this out of these four uh, is the only one that I'm not sure it will uh, make me some money, but the other three, uh, at least these two, 
at the top right here. I'm confident because we have a whole year for Bitcoin to uh, make money and for Ethereum to make money. And the strikes are very close to current price. But this is not the only thing that I do. We also have the copy trading right here. And I also sell weekly and daily options here. I made a bunch of videos talking about that. So if you want to check it out, it will be here uh, in the channel. But we have these copy trading strategies and they perform very well. The simplest one has 25% projected. But so far, we've beaten the projected because in six months, we've made 33%. And on the zero DTE, also a little less than six months, we've made 47%. With this one, we have 279 people deposited already in the strategy. And for the past 30 days, it has given us 11.2%. So fantastic returns here on this one. If you're feeling like playing a little bit, we have the spreads right here on the earn tab. The spreads are just simplified ways for you to open a spread that can be credit or debit spread. These vertical spreads are easy to do. You just need to learn and see what price do you believe Bitcoin will be above or below or Ethereum as well. We have Bitcoin and Ethereum spreads here. So you need to understand if you think Bitcoin will be above a certain price or below a certain price and you can see maximum profit and maximum loss everything before you even open the position. So these are the news for today. Worst case scenario, global economy goes to shit. But even if that happens, your Bitcoin will be more valuable than ever, especially if you hold your keys, if you have Bitcoin in your personal wallet and you don't share that to anyone, even though things are going bad, your Bitcoin will be protected and stored safely. Best case scenario, the global economy maintains itself, but we're still making money with options. We're still making money from the increase in price of Bitcoin and the accessibility that we have uh, for crypto worldwide. So I'm hopeful for 2025, I think will be a great year for crypto, a great year for everyone who was waiting and was preparing itself for what's going to happen, which is what we're doing here on Bitopics. So if you want to learn more, it's going to be the first link in the description for you to get into Bitopics and read a little bit more, check out our protocol. And if you don't want to, that's fine as well. But thank you very much. Have a great weekend and I'll see you guys on Monday for another video. Peace.